Mike Patel here. Hi guys, I just logged into the WordPress 2.7 beta blog that I'm using. As you can see, the dashboard looks totally different. It is totally customizable though, and that's one of the nice things. Two things real quick is first, you can go to create a new post right away. No matter where you're at in there, the new post button is always there. The other is when you scroll down to the bottom, if you need to update, you can click right here and it'll take you to a place where you can update your current system. In other words, for me, because I'm running on the betas, I did not download last night's beta. So I could click here and upgrade automatically. You should always back up your database and files though. So let's go back to the dashboard and talk about some of the customizable features for you. Okay. First, you have the option you can show just the icons and have a wider screen or, and I think most people will do this, you're going to want to spread it out so that you can see the categories and stuff that you're used to. And when you do, you'll see you still have the ability to see comments that need to be approved, plugins that are out of date, so that you can do the automatic. It's very much like 2.6 that way. And this is a much easier way for you to deal with things. The other thing is your dashboard's totally customizable. In other words, if I don't want to see the full things, I can just see the topics. I don't have to have everything spread out. You just click them and you automatically can change. So you can have a neat, clean dashboard or you can have everything showing that you can scroll through so that you notice things. Entirely up to you. You can also decide which of these items you want to display. You don't use quick press, get rid of it. You don't want recent drafts, get rid of it. You don't want to see the WordPress blog or the other WordPress news, you can make them go away. Entirely up to you. Just click check mark what you've unchecked and you have them right back. So these options are entirely up to you and then click the screen options and it goes away. The actual settings and titles and stuff are pretty much the same as 2.6. The only difference is instead of running across the top, they now run down the side. And you can expand each of these as you go. So for your posts, you can edit, add new, tags, categories, and go right to those sections. For your media, you can go to library or add new. I haven't added any media files here. If I did, I could go find them in the library. Links works the same. Edit, add new, link categories. And again, you can keep it as compact as you want, or you can compress it as much as you want. Comments, again, if I, I created a comment right before here so that we'd have something. Like before on 2.6, you can just click here, and it'll take you to the comments. And you can click here, decide your actions and apply it. So it works pretty much the same. Appearance, themes, widgets, editor. In this case I'm running flexibility theme which has a bunch of options. This you may or may not see on your screen. But themes, it also shows the preview the same as they've done previously in 2.6 so that if I decide I want to change the look of the blog I can see a preview before I actually change it so that maybe I've been editing this theme to make it look the way I want before I make it go live I can actually look at what it's going to look like right now and decide whether I, it's the way I want or not before I put it out there um, it's a really nice feature when you're playing around widgets, editor, work the same as they have. 
users are basically the same. You can look at the different users that you have. You can add new in your profile. So they haven't changed a lot of the structure. It's just where things are placed. The big things are the tools and the plugins. Okay, and the tools, the big one is the upgrade. And then anytime you need to upgrade, once you've put 2.7 in, you can do it automatically. Again, I'll remind you, you always want to make sure you have your database and files backed up before you do any kind of upgrades. On the plugins, again, you have a one-click upgrade, the same as 2.6. So that you basically just click there. It'll take you to a screen where you put your information in and just click proceed and it will do the upgrade for you. One of the neat things that they did add though this time with plugins is an add new. And that now you can add plugins in just pulling the zip file up and put it into your blog without using FTP. So if I go over to like the WordPress plugin directory find a particular one or you can do the search so if I want to do by it gives me a listing of the plugins that are in the WordPress database and if there's one that I want to add I can just basically click the install button and I, I can add the plugins so really cool feature to keep you up to date you can also search by popular, recently updated, featured, entirely up to you as to how you want to install, but you'll be able to fix your blog up quite easily. So, okay, I don't have WordPress.com stats on here, so I can just click to install stats. It takes me over, gives me the description on this. Okay, in this case, I'm not going to install it here because they have not tested it yet with the current version of 2.7. So, I'll, because I don't want to add it, I'll just click the close button and I don't have to worry about it. So, it will save you a lot of time and effort on this. The other thing is the posting. There are some different changes in the posting. If we just click on the new post, it's probably easier. They've rearranged the screen. And like all of these, you'll be able to edit the look of the screen depending on what you want to see and what you don't. In this case, it's currently loading Zamana, which is a service that I've been testing but I don't want to show it here because it gets in the way of doing this video so I can just click on it and it'll go down to just a single line. Same thing if I want to expand something I want to use a custom title tag in all in one I just click on it and I'll get the information that I need to add. The publish and the edits are back over on the right. The only thing is the tags are over here they also have most popular tags, so if you're using the same topics, you can click here and I can add the tags that I want to add for that particular post just by clicking the titles. Then if I decide that that's the wrong tag, I can make them disappear just by clicking the circles. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what's coming with this new 2.7. And I'll see you and be putting out more information as it gets closer.